In this video, I'll show you how to install the OpenShift Express client tools on a Mac, how to sign up for an account, and how to create your first application. So, let's get started. First of all, we visit openshift.redhat.com to sign up for an account. The sign up link is obvious on the front page. Once in, enter your email address, password that you want to use for your account, and you'll need to fill in the capture. Alternatively, you can use an existing redhat.com account. Having done this, an email will be sent to you with a confirmation link in. Once you paste this confirmation link into your browser, you'll be asked to confirm your login and then accept the legal terms and conditions. A set of getting started instructions are then displayed. We need to make sure that our Mac has all the requisite software. This is Ruby. The Mac comes with Ruby, so there's no need to reinstall that. Git and a couple of gems. If you have either Git or the gems, there's no need to reinstall them. I use ports to install software, so here I'm going to use ports to install Git and then Ruby to install the two gems I need. Git is now installed. Finally, we need to install a set of gems with which to control OpenShift. These are JSON underscore pure and the RHC gem. These gems provide the command line tools necessary to control your OpenShift Express application. Now we can create a new OpenShift domain and associate it with our user account. This requires us to create a new SSH key. Then we can create a new application. We're going to call it pmurf. And use the JWAS AS7 cartridge. The application is created, populated to the worldwide DNS servers, and a Git repository into which you can install your application is downloaded. We're given a URL with which we can access the application. A sample application is installed for us that gives us access to a number of demo applications. You can follow up on this video by exploring a number of other videos that show you how to do a various number of things with OpenShift Express. For example, how to use Java EE6 on JBoss AS7 on OpenShift Express, how to use transactions, how to use rich faces, and more.